hello yeah does religion really work does it work yeah this is a question i've been asking myself ever since i was a kid yeah ever since i was a kid and now before i go in depthly let me just give you a little summary of myself my background yeah i was born into this very very religious family and when i say religious just take it just believe that very very religious like the family that would you know would pray and fast all day of the week like from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday we pray a lot we do fast a lot we we'll do devotion every morning afternoon night we we'll do vigils every day of the week every day of the week just take that now a very dedicated church boy go to church every day very active in church a choir um a pianist um even <clears throat> i had to do some pastoral stuff at some point in my life you know because my family is this dedicated you know family you know like we're well known in almost all the church circles I did a lot of church engagement and I did it very, 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 you know, from the bottom of my heart. Because I've had this thing from my childhood about God. I love God. I really wanted to, to have that bond with God. I really want to be, you know, very close to God and I really want to be all God wants us to be, you know. Like we were taught, you know. But in all of this, I, I kept asking myself questions because, you know, when you go to church every day, I found out that it's the same ritual, it's the same thing we keep doing, the same prayers we keep praying, and it just dawned on me that how would I keep doing the same thing every day of my life, even as a child? I looked at my parents, I looked at the or older folks, I look at, at, at everybody, they're getting old and they're doing the same thing, doing the same thing, no changes, doing the same thing, no changes, year in and year out, day in and day out, week in and week out, and doing the same thing. Then, I started having this, this thing in me, I started asking questions, that, is this real? If I have to go to church every day and pray the same thing every day and keep asking the same thing from God every day, the God that is supposed to be my father, a God that is supposed to be love unconditional, why will there be conditions in all of this? And even at the end of the day, there are no results. There are nothing. I looked at the life of my parents and, you know, I keep doing this. There are no changes. Just keep repeating the same thing every day. At a point in my life, this thing became really crazy. It became really very disturbing. And I was like, okay, at a point in my life, I stopped praying. Then what I do in church is this. Whenever we ask to pray, all I just do is, God, give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I think that makes sense to me. That makes sense to my spirit. So that was all I was doing. I stopped praying because it sounds crazy. Look at it. Look at the scenario. I have a child. I have children. And how will I feel when they keep asking me, asking me, and asking me in tears, in pain, in serious agony, asking me the same thing all over for days, for weeks, for months, for years, and I, I just keep looking at them hand folded and I don't do nothing. I mean, even as a human, it's it's really crazy. Then, all this sets up a lot of questions, you know, going on in my head. And and um, also the issue of, you know, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, you know. And um, we have this tradition in my church, like um, every first Sunday of the month, you know, you got to ask for the Holy Spirit, you got to ask for the Holy Spirit, and you got to receive the Holy Spirit and all. That's why I saw that craziness that managed to, because as a child, all this thing, and I did all this sincerely. I asked, I asked, I, you see people falling, you see people doing all sort of stuff, you see mothers messing up themselves and joy, you see, you know, a lot of crazy 
Stop of course no no I was like is, can, can this be for real? Is there a God like this? Can this oh, is the, oh, is this God just a deaf God? I mean it's so crazy. So to cut the story short, you know, nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. Then at the point, you know, because uh uh, uh you know if you are an odd one out in the congregation, like everybody's speaking in tongues, everybody's getting the so-called Holy Spirit, and you are not the only one getting it, and you know it it becomes so crazy. You begin to ask questions like, God, why me? God, it means you don't love me. It means what's happening? Then at the point in time, you know you just have to to follow suit. You have to lie. Then you just start forming some some stuff and start speaking in tongues. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so but it's all crazy. So at some point, I, I did all this seriously and very very seriously. I say very very sincerely, and nothing is working. Right from when I was a kid, I could open my mind, I could open my eyes, I could see things and. I see nothing was working. But you know, I was under my parents, so the parental influence, so I must do this. So I continue. I mean, if this is the way then, okay, let's let's go, let's keep doing it. So on and on and on and on, I kept going, but still with questions that nobody was answering. I made a lot of so-called men of God. I made a lot of, you know, you know, uh, elderly people, elders in church, you know, deacons, and I was asking questions. Nobody seems to know nothing. Nobody seems to know nothing, and on and on and on it goes. You know, I was asking questions about God. Why is this God really so dead? If there's really a God, can He watch His children go, go, go like this? You know, I was asking questions about prayers. You know, I was asking questions about the Holy Spirit. I was asking serious questions, but no answer. So you know, we just kept the tradition. It's like mm, well, the tradition mm, is a ritual. You know, let's just do it. We got to go to church every Sunday, every day of the week. We got to pray. We got to go to vigils, even though. I do all of that and <laughs> there were no results. You gotta pay the tithes and you know. Then yeah, you know, at the point I was so depressed as a kid. I won't lie to you, I was so depressed. Like I, I was so depressed. And because <laughs> I kept asking, because I was never sure now, maybe God really loves me, you know. Because when you read that literature where it is written that is so I hate. Jacob I love. You know, God actually hates somebody, his creature. He actually hates, I mean, think about that. So those things actually kept me depressed because you know what? We've been praying all years. I, I've seen my parents, I've seen the older folks. We've been praying, doing all this and no changes, no result, nothing is happening. Then there must be, my conclusion was this, or oh, maybe God, God hates me just like he hates Esau, you know. And um, God couldn't help me because, you know, they preach holiness. You got to stop this. You got to stop sinning. You got to be holy and all of that. And as a human, I tried all of this and nothing was working. And, and now I came to another conclusion that maybe, or just like in the book of Genesis, where somewhere God helped uh, Abimelech, you know, not to sin against him, you know. And um, somewhere God actually um, 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 gingered Pharaoh and hardened Pharaoh's heart to sin against him. And I mean, then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I'm just, just like um, Pharaoh. God, God is not helping me out again. And he just wanted me to keep sinning and I can't just be holy. And all of those impossible goals that religion had set for us. You know, so at the point I was so depressed as a kid, I was so depressed. You know, so I, something, <clears throat> excuse me. Something more even added to my depression. <clears throat> and I was like, ah, could, could this God really be a, a serious unjust God? How can two people sin, that's Adam and Eve, sinned, and automatically everybody inherited that sin? And even when you were born, they will label you, I mean, born in sin. And all this wasn't, you know, wasn't making, making me up. And... <clears throat> That's that's even small. 
Now, okay, if Adam had sinned and all of us inherited that sin and all of that, then, and at least, Jesus Christ came some years later to redeem us, to take away the sins and all of that. And if Christ had come to redeem me, to take away that sin, the sin of the world, how come do I still need to pray, to ask for forgiveness, to pray for salvation every day of my life? If um, the Adamic sin was inherited automatically, now why isn't the Christ's redemption saving be automatic also? I mean, all this does not does not make any sense to me and all of that. Ah, so, to call the story short, I just kept on, you know, and all of that. So, something happened to me at a point. I just stopped believing everything. I stopped believing anything. I stopped believing everything. Nothing in this world was I believing any longer. Um, this saying worked for me. That's that kept that was what kept coming to me at a point in my life that whatsoever a man thinketh, you know, whatever you think, so you become. So, cause I I I now I don't want to become all those things no more. So I even stopped thinking about that kind of God. I know there is a God. I know, but I wanted to know more. If it was that kind of God religion was preaching you know but i know i know there's something because i know everything on this planet and beyond <laughs> wouldn't just be without a source so i know i know i know i know i know i know i have a source i know i have a creature that made everything but i was confused if the the god of religion is that same god that is the god unconditional love all loving, all knowing, and <clears throat> it's all unconditional. But everything we do is conditional. I mean, the discrepancies are just too much. So, to cut my story short, now I stop believing everything and anything. And in that, something happened to me. I think that was in my 30s. Something happened to me. I, after I'd done a lot and lot and lot with no answers, with no results. In my 30s, something happened to me. I made a friend, a very great friend up till today. I love him, a great brother. And we began, you know, speaking. And he started talking. And I started seeing the truth. And from henceforth, my life changed. And it changed. And it changed. So... He began to talk to me, you know, we talked about church, about religion, about stuff, about life in general and all of that. Even though I was struggling with those things because, you know, it's not easy, you know, I've been birthed into this thing. We're all born into this, you know, we're all programmed, you know, life ain't meant to be like this, you know. God in like this is just because we are born into it. So we've been programmed. We've been seriously hypnotized. It's been part of us. It's been like, that's the truth. It's been like, that's the way it is. It's been like, that is just it. So, you know, that programming, we've been programmed from birth. So that has been us. That has been our nature. Which is a lie. Our nature is based on lies. Our nature is based on, on, on falsehood. Our nature is based on all of that. And that's why there's so much chaos. There's no so much problems in the world today because, you know, we've been brainwashed. We've been, you know, manipulated. From birth, we've been, you know, given. We've been, the, you know, the divine um, 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 program has been taken and we've been it's been replaced with a worldly program of religion and all of that. So, so and I began also to, to look inwards. I began to think, I think, I, I have a lot of quiet times. I think, I think, and to cut the story short, sometime, sometime, sometime later, later, something happened to me. So strange, so strange. I found out that it's, it's as if I was being reprogrammed. It took a, a couple of time, you know, like 
I might just be in the bathroom, take, having my bath, you know, and I'll just feel this thing overwhelm me. And I feel like I, I, I was being reprogrammed and I feel things being programmed onto me. I, I feel like information is being processed in me. I'll just feel a lot of information coming to me. And I'll see things, I'll receive answers. Just inside of me, I see, you know, just like when you're programming a computer, you know, you 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 have to maybe put your 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 the, the in the, the ROM or put a CD or put your um the USB or whatever it is, you know, and it's receiving all this information, you know, and it's receiving all this information and the all the information in it is getting out and it's receiving new information. That's the experience like I'm being reprogrammed. I met the divine as a bit program, everything just came on me. I received all the answers and that's why I now believe that when the student is ready, the teacher will come your way. The divine has arranged us all. Perfect. It's a perfect world. It's a beautiful world. It's, 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 it's a beautiful place. So when the teacher, when the student is ready, the teacher would always appear. Then I got that. I was being reprogrammed. I, I, I. I was shown everything. Everything now lives in me. Everything now. And now that's soon everything. You know, I now understood the God. I understood everything. Then along the line also, I, I, as uh, all this happened to me, you know, I, I also stumbled on some Friends, you know, when you are now in 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 a, in a setting and all of that, you know, you begin now begin to meet like minds and all of that. You know, there is a way, there is a law of attraction. You know, and there I began to now was introduced into stuff. I began to do some research. I began to read. I began to research Christianity, research religion as a whole, and and I found that that. Wow, how gullible can humans be? You know, we're born into stores like this and we never research it. We never know nothing about We just pick it up and we hand it over to our children and they do the same. They hand it over to their children and they do the same just like it was handed to our parents. And, you know, it keeps on. Wow, it's crazy. I discovered a whole lot of things. And because I've already been programmed, been reprogrammed by the divine. So... Once I see something, I know I know it for real. Once I see something, I know it for real. I everything now came together. You know, though it's a whole lot of process, you know, it took years, it took me years, but I'm just trying to, to make it short in this video. Maybe in subsequent videos, I'll be explaining in details how you know the processes went and all of that. So life changed to me, everything changed. I now realized, wow, a whole lot of us are living inside these lies. Believe me, believe me, believe me. We live with lies for years and years and centuries and wow, wow. Now, now I don't believe in God because I don't even believe. You know, we are taught to believe. What, you know, be believe is you just take something, something handed over to you <clears throat> you just take it you just have to accept it you can't question it you know it's it's it, it's misery you can't question it it has no proof you just take it that's what we've been told we've been brainwashed life is an open book you hear that you heard that life is an open book there are no miseries there there are no secrets god that god not not the the the, the god of religion, <laughs> but the source of all of life has given us all. He has made us well. Only that when we came in, we were programmed. The program was changed through religion, society norms, these and all of that. Now I know God. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Now I understand my own true nature. Because, let me ask you this question. Majority of human beings don't even understand their true nature as humans. Their ex existential true nature. 
then how come can you know God when you don't even know yourself? You don't understand your own true nature. How can you understand? How can you know the true nature of God? And that's why you keep believing. Believing means you don't know, but you just take it. You just accept it. You know, whether you believe in God, whether you don't believe in God, you, you are an atheist. You know, you are, they are, uh, uh, one that believes in God and one who doesn't believe in God, they are both believers. Just that one is believing in a positive way and one the other is believing in a negative way. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are both believers. You understand? So, believe and knowing are two different worlds entirely. No one you believe, you know. So, which one? I don't believe in God. Now, I know God. I know it. You know, why am I saying all of this? I'm saying all of this. Maybe some of you also might be having some questions. You know, I met people in I know in, in in recent times with questions. You know, and that's why I'm doing this. You know, perhaps it's going to meet someone out there that has been asking the same questions. You know, we are all product of the divine. We are all same. No one is holier. No one is special. We are all same. So, as long as you have questions. The answers will come. You know what you need? All you just need is, are you sincere with those questions? Are you honest? If you are seeking, if you are a true seeker, seeking for the answers in all sincerities, in all honesty, and in all humility, I tell you, you'll find it. You'll find God. You'll find the answers. Just like I'm the product of the universe, product of nature, product of God. So you are, so everyone is. So no one is special. I'm not coming to say this because I'm better. I'm not better than no one. We are all humans. I see myself in you. I see myself in everyone. We are all human beings. As long as the same blood flows, flows in us, we are all same. No one is special. Just like religion are, are taught us that they are special people of God. They are no, and that's why we have the law of depression, a lot of suicides, and all of that. Because you've done it all, you've prayed it all, and you know you've read, you've read the book, and you found out that some are actually special, some are not. How have mercy on those who have, 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 have mercy on. So it means on some you will never have mercy. And when you've done it all and nothing is forthcoming, so you are liable to conclude that that means I'm part of those who will never have mercy on. If he loves he, um, um, Jacob and hates his soul, and you've done all and there are no results, then your conclusion will be maybe he also hates me. Like, like. So, and if you've come to that conclusion, the next is life ain't worth it. The next is suicide. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this to avoid all these troubles. You know, I'm doing this for those that resonate with this, that, that also have questions and all of that. that you are not alone. We, we, we are together. And you also can find answer if you are very sincere, if you are honest, and if you are humble. Once the student is ready, the teacher will come. Just believe that. So I'm no better I'm not holier or smarter than anyone. We are all humans. We are all same. I'm not God's chosen, no favorite. That doesn't even exist anyways. No, am I fronting to save humanity? No, no, no. Do you understand? So only that the ultimate truth found me. And I find myself saddled with the responsibility of sharing this with every seeker of the truth. Because only by this can our world and planet become a better place. For us and for our children, the lies that have been told humanity through every religion is the foundation of the problem and chaos of humanity. So you better take it a little bit. You understand? So right now, I belong to no religion and no belief system. I belong to the oneness and brotherhood of all life. I do not believe in anything. No. Do I believe in the God of religions, which is that autocratic and that dual in nature, <laughs> God, but I know the God which is the source of all life. It's not dualistic. Unconditional love, ocean of grace and mercy in the ecstatic infiniteness of our evolving self, which is its fragment. Do you understand? So that's why I'm doing this. Subsequently, I'm going to be doing some more videos. I'm going to be talking about some other issues. I'm going to be talking about some other issues. and So we can learn. So we can help ourselves to grow and make a planet and make a world 
a better place make it a paradise instead of of all this chaos all these problems all this evil happenings and all of that the big there's the biggest problem is the mind of men and that is where all this came from all this forming of religion for control of humanity you know um, um, from um, 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 from from the Roman Empire and a whole lot of stories. Don't worry, I'll be coming subsequently. I'll be coming with a whole lot of videos, you know, to sensitize us, to make us aware, and at the end of the day, to make us become one with the divine, to make us find the ultimate truth, and ultimately also to make us realize who we really are, to make us discover our true self. And it's only when we discover our true self, that is only when we can know the true nature of God. Because the road to God is through every man, every self. So and not until we discover that divine self, that our true, true nature, then how come can we, can we know God? If I don't know myself, how come can I know you? How, can, 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 how come can I, can I know God? So I'll be coming on subsequently with a whole lot of a whole lot of all of these so until i come your way next time i hope i haven't spoken too much until i come your way next time and and i i wish you all the best i wish you a blissful and ecstatic life i wish you what god had had, had destined us for and peace 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 love you all peace